from Wilkinson's um, and I'll quickly show you what I picked up in there. Today we're going to have a slow cooked lamb curry. I'm going to do Arabella's room quickly. So it's Sunday morning, um, we've just got up, made the bed, put some washing on um, and then we've just had a really nice breakfast. So we often have a really nice breakfast on a Sunday. We used to have like pastries or pancakes or something like that. Um, as most of you know, I am doing Slimming World at the minute and trying really hard to be good um, and just eat a little bit more healthily. So not doing that today. Um, so this morning we had one of my favorite breakfasts, which still feels like a bit of a weekend treat, but is actually really good and on plan. So we had smoked salmon, scrambled eggs and asparagus. This is honestly one of my favorite breakfasts. I love it. It's low calorie and it is completely sin free, but it actually keeps you quite full for quite a long time as well. Um, I think it's because the eggs have obviously got protein and things in that it actually feels like a really substantial breakfast, but doesn't give you that horrible kind of bloated feeling from having um, like carbs or anything like that. Um, Arabella did have some as well. Um, she even tried the asparagus, which I was quite surprised at. She didn't really like it, um, but at least she tried it. And then she also had a pan au chocolat um, just as a special treat for her at the weekend. Nick went to the shop and got that for her. I need to pop to Wilkinson's really quickly. We were all going to go, but it's probably just better if I run in there and get what I want and then come out rather than taking us all there. Um, there's some storage bits that I want. I saw them online and they actually have quite a good sale on Wilkinson's at the moment. And I want a um, like an Ottoman storage box for the bottom of Arabella's bed. Um, we're planning on doing Arabella's room today. Um, and they're really good price in there. So hopefully they've got that in stock. Um, and if I do pick anything else up, then I will show you what I pick up when I'm back. We weren't sure about getting Arabella a tablet, but it's actually really good. She uses it for a lot of educational type things. So this is just a Peppa Pig game that she plays. One more yellow bag. Two bags. That one? Yeah, and one more. Right, now press the button. Two, touch the button. Well done. So I've just got back from Wilkinson's um, and I will quickly show you what I picked up in there. Um, so luckily they had what I wanted in stock, which is just amazing because often when I go to get something, it's not there. Um, so the main thing, oh, blimey, this is heavy, um, that I went in there for, let me turn it around so you can see it better, is this um, faux linen ottoman. Um, so you can see it here, it's quite big and it's actually really solid as well. It's a lot sturdier than I thought it would be. So I'm really impressed. And um, obviously I need to put it up. So it's 80 by 40 by 40. Um, and it's a really nice pink color, which will literally go perfectly in Arabella's room. So I'm planning on putting this at the end of her bed. And this was really good value. It was only 16 pounds, which I think for something this size, is amazing um i don't know how sturdy it is but we'll see if it's even sturdy enough for her to have it as like a little seat as well and then maybe i could use it as like in her little book corner so yeah we'll see i'm impressed with that um, and whilst i was in there 
I did actually end up getting three like this as well. So I didn't really want the velour ones, but that's the only ones they had. They didn't have the linen grey ones, but I thought these would be ideal for putting at the top of my wardrobe. Um, I've got quite a big space there and it just gets quite messy. I do need to sort it out properly at some point. Um, and for these would be ideal. And I think these were £10 in there. Again, loads of their storage stuff is on offer in Wilkinson's at the moment. So if you are after any storage things, I'd definitely check out Wilkinson's because it does seem quite reasonable as well. Um, and these were a really good size. So they were basically um, 40 centimetres tall, 40 centimetres wide and 40 centimetres deep. Um, and they come with a lid, again, quite padded. I was going to put baskets on top of my wardrobe area, but the baskets that I was looking at were probably more expensive than what this cost. And this comes with a lid and thought it would look quite nice. Um, so yeah, you know, just to like store clothes in. So maybe in the summer to put like jumpers and things in there or like handbags or just just whatever really <laughs> um so i thought they were really good so picked up three of them in there and then just got a couple of other little bits um i got this i used to use the pledge duster and i can never find it anymore it was really handy so i got this flash um dust magnet it's the starter kit so it's got the like the plastic prong thing in there or whatever it is and then the actual duster pads as well um and this was on offer so this was only three pounds and it's normally six pounds um was really annoying though because when she scanned it it came up as six pound and i just happened to clock it and i was like oh sorry can you check the price um and she told me it was definitely six pound but there was a huge sign in there saying that they were half price so it didn't come up so make sure you do double check your receipts if you're going in there um but i thought for three pounds um and then there's four in there and then these are really handy just for keeping in the bedrooms just when i want to have a really quick dust um then got some flash bathroom spray because this was a huge one as well this was the 750 ml one and was only one pound fifty which is really good value because the big one is normally three pounds um then nothing very exciting <laughs> um just got some light bulbs for a lamp that i've got for arabella's room um what else did i get in there then i got some of the surface wipes these are just really handy for spillages and they're only 50p in wilkinson's um and then i got a oh the toilet things i don't know what they're called what are they called I don't know but the things that you basically hang over the toilet and they make your toilet smell nice when you flush it um this domestos pink one is my favorite i've tried loads of other ones and always go back to this one because it smells lovely um and then just picked up some little paint brushes for arabella she needed some new paint brushes and these were only one pound which i thought was quite good um, and then the last thing I picked up, not very exciting again, is just a pencil sharpener. Um, I've had a couple of new eyeliners um, that basically need sharpening and could you believe it i cannot find a pencil sharpener in this house anywhere i'm sure we've had loads but i couldn't find one um so just thought i'd get this in wilkinson's and it was only 60p so yeah got that again not very exciting so that is everything that i picked up from wilkinson's i just thought i would show you really quickly if you're interested but if you are looking for storage things honestly check wilco's out um they've got loads of stuff on offer on their website as well if they haven't got it in store and i think delivery is quite reasonable um so if like a lot of us at the moment you're kind of looking at organizing and getting storage bits then check out wilkinson's Bye. Mama back to my channel with her a shout. I'm doing YouTube. You're doing YouTube? So I'm just going to make the dinner. So tonight we are having a slow cooker meal. I love doing a slow cooker meal, especially on a Sunday because you can go out for the day and it doesn't matter if you're getting a bit later or anything and then you don't need to worry about dinner because it's all ready. So today we're going to have a slow cooked lamb curry which is honestly delicious. I've made this so many times. Um, I will show you how to make it. So I've just got out all of the ingredients to show you what's going into it. Um, and it needs garam masala and I've literally just realised, so I normally put about two tablespoons in um, and that is all I have left which is a bit annoying. Um, so we're just going to walk up to the shop. Luckily where we live, the shop's only about a 10 minute walk. So we're just going to go for a walk and it's a lovely day as well. So it'd be nice just to get out nice and early, um, grab some garam masala, then I'll come back and show you how to make the curry.
So I'm back from the shop now, um, excuse my hat hair, um, it's actually really deceiving out there, it's a lot colder than you think, um, the skies are really blue but yeah it's quite chilly, um, so I picked up the garam masala which I needed and then I'll just show you all the ingredients that you need to make tonight's dinner. So these are all the ingredients that you need to make the slow cooked lamb curry, um, it looks like quite a lot of spices and things. Um, but actually they're just normal spices that you'd probably have in your cupboard anyway. Um, so you will obviously need some lamb. So I did try to get diced lamb, but they didn't have any in Tesco. So I've just got four lamb steaks. Um, you want around 400 grams to serve four people. Um, a tin of chopped tomatoes, one onion. Um, I did want a white onion, but I only had a red onion, so that's fine. Some fresh ginger, or you can use, um, you know, like the jar gingers that you get if that's easier. Couple of garlic cloves. You'll need two teaspoons of garam masala, around two teaspoons of turmeric, then one teaspoon of curry powder. Just what use whatever curry powder that you've got lying around. And then you can also add some chilli flakes. I normally just put about half a teaspoon in. And then lastly, you will need two teaspoons of ground cumin. And then I've just got some lamb stock cubes here. If you haven't got lamb stock cubes, it's fine. You can just use vegetable ones. Um, and then I'll use around 200 mils of water mixed with one stock cube. So into the slow cooker, I've just added the diced onion the ginger which I've just basically sliced and then I've also sliced the garlic and then I've just put the lamb in here so I basically cut all of the fat off the lamb and then have just cubed it and then I've added all of the dry spices into here don't worry I'll list all of the quantities and everything that you need to make this in the ingredients down below so you don't have to keep watching to remember if you do make it and then to this I'm just going to add the chopped tomatoes and the stock So it's all in the slow cooker now and ready to go on. Nick actually smashed the lid to my slow cooker the other day, so I don't have a lid. I do need to get a new one anyway, in all honesty, because I've had this one years. Um, so for a temporary measure, I'm just going to put some kitchen foil on top of it. Um, I'm just going to squeeze this down, so hopefully it acts as a bit of a lid. Um, hopefully this will work okay. And then I'm going to cook that on low for around seven hours. We're just going to do hair now and then we are off to the park, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So we are just about to go out now. Um, I just thought I would quickly show you what I'm wearing because I always get loads of questions about these leggings, especially on my Instagram. I honestly live in them. They are my favourite pair of leggings. So these are the leather look leggings from Topshop. I get them from ASOS. They are so comfortable. Um, they basically just have a zip up the side here. So they're super comfortable. They've got a bit of stretch in them as well. Um, and they're really warm as well for this time of year. They've got almost like a fleecy lining on the inside of them. I think they were around £30, pounds, um, but I believe that, top, not Topshop, sorry, ASOS have got a deal on at the moment where these are 20% off. So I'll link them in the description box down below because they are amazing. Um, and everyone who I've told about absolutely loves them. Um, and then the jumper is a jumper that I picked up um, when we went to London actually. Went to London recently and it was in the resale and um, it's super cozy it's like a cashmere blend and it was half price as well so yeah I absolutely love it I just try not to get anything spilt on it because I don't really want to wash it because it's an absolute nightmare to wash so yeah just thought I would show you that quickly um but like I said we are now off to a local country park So 
we love coming here because it's only about 15 minutes from where we live and there's a really nice play area it's all like a wooden play area which is all enclosed for the kids um, and then there's just like a little short walk as well which is perfect for Arabella um, but we've bought the pram as well in case we want to go on a longer one There's a really cute little cafe in like a lodge thing here as well so we're just going to pop in here and grab a cup of coffee and warm up because it's cold. park now and we're just going to do a little puzzle sit down probably watch a little bit of tv before then we get on and have dinner what's next now <gasps> hang on that bit you want to put that in you better help me we're going to do arabella's room quickly um we were planning on you are knocking um, so we were planning on just chilling out, but you know, no such thing in this house. Um, so I've got her some curtains. I bought these actually in the next sale. They were £40 reduced from 80 which I thought was quite good. Um, and then you can see here we've just basically changed her... Um, so she did have a cot in here and it's a cot bed, so we've made it into a little bed. Um, I'm not sure whether to decorate it or not. Um, I'm not sure, yeah, let me know what you think. I do really like this bit, but I don't know whether to do something a little bit more grown up for her. Um, so I've got the curtains and then I'm going to do like a little book corner area here as well with some shelves that I picked up from Ikea. Look, Daddy's putting your curtains up. Are you excited? Wow, that will look so beautiful. Mine. Nick's just building a unit that I got for Arabella. You might have seen it in my recent um, B&M haul. So it's just a small bedside table that was only £15, so really good value. Um, I really wanted one that wasn't kind of too big, obviously, with the cot bed being lower. So they're just building that, and bless Arabella, she's helping as well. So they're building that now, and then hopefully the room will be nearly done. The unit's done. Um, I am going to spray paint the legs white, I think, just so it looks a little bit better. Um, so we were going to put these, um, I bought these picture ledges from Ikea, and I'm planning on putting these up here, um, but I just need to get some more screws. And it's getting late, so we need to get dinner, so I'll probably do that another day. Um, but then I'm just going to put this ottoman, so I showed you this earlier that I picked up from Wilkinson, so I'm just going to put this at the bottom of the bed and then I can put all her blankets and things like that in there. So I'm going to leave her bedroom for now, then go downstairs and get our dinner. So here we are, about to serve up dinner. So the curry is ready. Um, I feel like it's a bit dry, but I think that's because the lid 
Um, obviously it wasn't on properly because I just made it from the tin foil. So a lot of the water had basically just gone everywhere, which is a bit of a nightmare. Um, but I'm sure it will still taste just as good. And the lamb, I just had a bit of the lamb and it is so tender. We're just going to sit and eat our dinner now. Um, we generally try and sit in the dining room on a Sunday just because it's the only day we really sit in here. Most days we just end up sitting at the kitchen table because we work in here all week. But it's quite nice to actually sit in here at the weekend and enjoy dinner. So you'll see we've got some naan breads and mini poppadoms. I'm not having any because obviously I'm on Slimming World, um, but these two are going to have some as well. But I'd definitely try this curry. It's honestly delicious. So easy to make as well. I'm just put in the slow cooker. Ready? Cinderella. You want to read this one? Let me do it like this so you can see. Once upon a time in a faraway land, there lived a rich widow gentleman and his beautiful daughter Cinderella. No, no. Arabella is fast asleep now. Um, it wasn't actually too bad getting her to bed. It's been a bit difficult recently. Um, she just seems to not want to go to bed anymore. Um, so that was one of the other reasons that we thought we would do her a big girl bedroom um, because she keeps telling me that she's not a baby. So hopefully now she's got this, she'll go to bed a bit better. And tonight wasn't actually too bad. She had a story. I read her one, then Nick read her one, and then she went to bed. Um, so we're just going to clear up after to dinner um, then we will sit down and I normally on a Sunday evening basically do my plan for the week so I will do my meal planning for the week um, and then I also just do my like work plan for the week just so when I start work tomorrow I know exactly what I've got to do it doesn't take me long it's probably only about half an hour and honestly doing that every Sunday just sets me up for the week and um, I won't show you all my meal plan because it will take me quite a while but if anyone is interested in how I do my meal plan um, and you want to see a video on it and let me know in the comments down below and then I can look at making one in the next few weeks well I really hope that you have enjoyed this random day in a life vlog it's been a bit all over the place but hopefully you have enjoyed it and it's just a typical day in my life um, so if you have enjoyed it then please give it a thumbs up and as always thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you again next time bye